In a repeat of the 2005 elections, Liberians are heading to the polls again next month since no candidate in last week's election attained more than 50 percent of the vote as required by the Constitution. Electoral observers declared the elections were free and fair. But despite speculation that the Nobel Peace Prize awarded to incumbent President Alan Johnson Salif would uh, give her an advantage in the polls, she now faces Winston Tubman of the Congress for the Democratic Change. Salif received 44 percent of the votes and Tubman 32 percent. Former warlord Prince Johnson of the National Union of Democratic Progress is placed third, capturing 11 percent of the vote. Many observers say uh, whom Johnson chooses to endorse could determine the outcome of the elections. He surprised a lot of people the fact that he got 11 percent of the vote, and that is a considerable percentage. So yes, um, but there are other factors, uh, there are other political parties there who might come the other way, no matter where he goes. Uh, but whoever he supports, that person is likely to uh, gain significantly. But again, it's not clear he's been quoted as saying he wants to support the president. But what we are hearing is that within his party, there's dissension in the party that he was, they were, some people were not consulted. And in fact, some people are threatening to pull out of his party. So, I mean, we have to get Prince Johnson himself to clarify exactly where things are. So James Butty, who just uh, returned from Liberia.